and welcome everyone to this year's Haunted Hallways at Hamamura. Last year we came here and it was a wonderful little place, and this year we have a new variation on it that I think is slightly bigger than the last one. And it seems to have an overall more, I'd say, doll theme going on with it, at least what I would think. In any case, we're going to go ahead and walk through it today. As you can see, it's definitely dark as it was before. Only a few light sources and fairly low ones at that, so it gives a much creepy, creepy atmosphere as we go through these hallways. And I was saying before, there seem to be a lot of dolls and mannequin type things going on here. We have this beautiful shot here of the red flowers and them flowing around petals from above as we head straight into the darkness of broken lamps it looks like. And we fall straight down into a portal I think. And after giving this a little bit of a chance to res up property we can already start seeing some more dolls around. I guess we've entered the doll portal. And there's many broken mannequins laying around as well. And I forget what these are called, but they're sort of, I think, like a shrine almost? Or something along those lines? And as we continue on here, we actually have a choice of doors here. We have a door on the left, and we have a door on the right. And we have one of those creepy dolls here on the ground that actually follows our movements. And nice little rabbit dolls as well. In front of us seems to be... a place that is... I think dripping blood or dripping string. In fact, it might be string. It looks kind of more like string, I think, on the ground. We'll go through the left door first. And we end up in another reddish room. This one having a lovely scenic view, actually, in the uh, background here. Yeah, this looks really nice. I think this may have been shown last year as well, or something along the lines. I don't quite remember. I think there was something like that in the last one. Mirrors broken, bloody hand prints all over it. We have some creatures in here with us. This definitely doesn't look like a mannequin. Oh, did they eat somebody? <laughs> There's more of something trying to get its way through the doorway here. But we still have another door to go through, so this may not actually be the worst choice. We'll have to see where the other one leads to us. Door on the right. And it doesn't lead us to a room. It looks like it leads us to a void with only a spirit and what appears to be perhaps a mask off in the distance. And we enter in another hallway filled with masks. All along the walls, many of them all staring at us as we pass. Another strange uh, creature, like the ones we saw in the other room. It actually looks a little bit creepier <laughs> looking at it from a bit farther back. It, there's a bit of a flickering light going on there. I do like the reflection on the ground in front of us. And we enter into a green corridor. I do actually remember this one from last year. 
I think this is where it ended last year. But there is actually still a little bit further beyond this. And now it's gone from green to red once again. We have a full on armor set here. The room is definitely flooding though. Things floating around in the water, which is a nice little detail. This uh, woman creature here once again. And we have more mannequins laying around the room. As I was saying before, there definitely seems to be more of a mannequin doll type of theming going on this year. Because there's been many of them all around. But we shall continue on. It looks like we've managed to make it out of the hallways. As the darkness is lifted, it kind of looks more like an outside spot. We see the gates labeled with many seals, it looks like. Very nice glowing gravestone, too. I don't know what this says on it, unfortunately. And an owl watching us from above. You can actually see the sky up here, too. There's a blue moon out. And we've reached the end room. as it's labeled here. It is a nice little room. As we see, we have some spiderlings around, or I guess like ghost spiders. I'm not quite sure what to call those. I think they're kind of like ghost spiders. But this room is considerably dark, but you can still see a little bit around in it. It seems more like a storage room, perhaps, than anything else. And I guess it belongs to these ghost spiders, because there's spider webs everywhere. But yeah, I definitely like uh, Habamura's Haunted Hallways. I don't know if they've had them more than just the previous year, if there was more before that, but I only found it last year and now this year. But this was definitely something that I wanted to come back to and check out for this year once I saw that it was back up. Another mask on the pillar there. Yeah, I would definitely suggest coming and taking a look at this as well. In fact, when I was uh, getting ready to record this, another set of people had gone through this, and in the group that I pay attention to for Halloween Second Life stuff was going on, they were actually saying how great this was, and I have to agree with them. In any case, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you in the next one. So have a happy Halloween!